Welcome to this new series where we're going to be sharing advice on moving home. Moving home is always stressful, it's emotional, it's challenging, there's a lot of variables and moving parts and you want to be moving home like a pro, which is exactly why we are bringing you this alongside our friends and moving experts from any van. So we're going to crack into it. Hayden, I love how you are corporately coloured up. This is this is absolutely superb. Your bosses will be proud. So on brand, constantly on brand. <laughs> now, you, you are the right person to talk to about this. Hit me with it. Why would you say it's important or better to use a removal company rather than van hire? My first point is the ease of using a removal company. You don't have to get that sofa out of your flat and down those stairs, much like a famous um, TV programme. You won't be shouting pivot at each other. But also there's things like you don't need to have a driving licence, so that's not, you know, you don't yep. have to be a driver. Yep. You don't need um, to be over a certain age to hire a van. Some people are 21, 25, so if you're slightly younger than that. Also, some new driving licences, you're not allowed to drive larger vehicles, so there can be that issue. Um, yeah, am I right thinking you have to have a UK licence rather than an international licence? Yes, yeah. and it has to be, I think people that are sort of in their 20s now don't have the rights to drive a van, as so those slightly older yeah. can. So even if you've got a driving licence, that doesn't mean you can necessarily hire a van. But a lot of it is just the ease. Uh, removal companies will turn up with, you know, likely to be two men and they will do that day in, day out. And they will know exactly how to pack that van, how to get the most space out of it, yeah. basically pay Tetris and work out where everything goes. Yes. And it's just a lot easier. Yeah. The, 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 the idea of getting sofas round corners and downstairs and beds and wardrobes fills me with utter horror because it's an awful experience if you've not done it before. Yes, especially if with lots of blocks of flats don't have lifts. Yeah. I can't imagine trying to get my sofa out of my front door, let alone down some yeah. stairs. Um, but yeah. We, we moved once and, and actually they did have to take a full sash window out in order to get the, the, the sofa That's quite in, worrying. Which I'm thinking, you can't, well, there's a window, we just bought the house. <laughs> but no, they did it, no problem at all. But they professionals, they've done yes. it before. I've seen in the block of flats I live in, sofas go over balconies, which yeah. is, I would never be able to do that without a removal team. If somebody is, is packing for themselves, yes. what order should they do things in? Before you start to pack, I would say declutter. Yeah. Get rid of anything you don't want. Not just because it's you know quite cathartic, you get rid of stuff you no longer need. But also the less you take with you, the least you're going to pay. Sure. You could get rid of four, five, ten boxes worth of stuff and you're not paying to move that. So have a good declutter. Um, what should they do with those things that they then no longer require? So many options. Um, you can obviously sell online. You've got the likes of eBay, Facebook Marketplace, donate to charity shops. There's probably friends and family that might have had that eye on that coffee table you no longer want. Um, any van try to be as sustainable, sustainable as possible. So we try and avoid people from you know, putting things into landfill. So yeah, charity shop donations are a great way Big to one's do that. got to be um, kids' toys. Yes. which are hugely important and very important to the, to the child for a period of time, but then they grow out of them and you've still got them and you just buy more and more and more <laughs> and you never get rid of the stuff. Places, but, but actually they're really, you could give them away. Places like Free Cycle love things like that yeah. because you can give away to people that might need them more than what you need them, especially in this current climate. When I came to move last time, which isn't, I haven't moved regularly, I'm not a big fan of moving because there is a lot of moving parts and it's quite, you know, it's quite full on. But books, oh, and I'm not so like heavy. a massive reader, but I've, there are a lot of books after 20 years in a house. Do I want it? Do I not want it? Am I going to read it again? Probably not. Is it important? Not really. Off it goes. Yeah, that's one of the things we always say is books can be so heavy. Yeah. Don't pack loads of them in one box yeah. because you've got to manoeuvre that around, whether you're doing your move yourself or using a removals company. Yeah. The more books you put in a box, the heavier that is to, to, to manoeuvre. And that's... That's not fun for anybody. Do you have bits and pieces of advice you, you could um, share with us about what it takes to, to move in the easiest and, and, and least stressful way? It, it is complicated, it is stressful, it is expensive, there's a lot going on. But any particular points 
that you would that, that obviously from my perspective I would say use a removal company um, because that will one deal, that dressed in blue maybe. yes maybe us um, but yeah I think a lot of it would be user removal company but before you even get to that point just be organized make a list of your inventory what have you got and that's a good point when you declutter if you start getting rid of some things list what you're keeping and then when you talk to a removals company or when you work out how many boxes you need yeah you've got a list of everything you've got. And don't forget places like the loft, yeah. the garden shed, yes. the Eve storage if you're in a bungalow, oh you know, goodness, all the crevices mate. you've hidden things. Um, but just be really organized, plan ahead with you know boxes. There's plenty of places online to get free boxes because buying storage boxes can be really expensive. Yes. Um, free Cycle, Gumtree are great places to go where people have moved and have still got their boxes, so you can go and grab some of those. Packing tape, um, yeah. obviously lots of soft packaging. Um, we say keep the paper out of delivery boxes you get to fill in all the crevices of, so nothing moves around in your boxes. Yes. Yeah, the actual packing of the box, and you've got some things in front of yes. you, so I'm, I'm hoping you might <laughs> do us a little demo, but that's a key part, isn't it? It is, just making sure nothing moves in boxes, so nothing gets broken, that's a massive, part of it and there's lots of as I will show you lots of ways you can do it sustainably um, but yeah just plan ahead I'll also advise make a list of places where you've got your address so um, you'll need to let like HMRC know you're moving you can get your post redirected by the post office yes. um, you know your utilities your internet even things like if you have food delivery boxes or clothing delivered frequently you need to update your address. So make a little list of all those places. A little? A little, it'd be a huge yes, list. Yes. Least, the amount of things we're subscribed to and everything now, it'd be a huge list of places. So when it comes to that, you can just tick them off. And I'm a big list maker, if you've not guessed, but that makes you feel like you're on top of it. But I don't think you can ever be too organized for moving, but a removal company does obviously help take a little bit of stress away on the day. Any van is a smarter way to move home, furniture or vehicles, and it could save you up to 40%. With over 100,000 excellent ratings, you can trust any van. So visit anyvan.com to get a quote today. Any, any hacks for, for packing and protecting things yes. in transit? So from a sustainable point of view, I'm going to be using things from around my house. Okay. Um, one thing you can do, it basically just frees up more storage mm -hmm. so i'm going to be using some clothes to wrap my glass it means then you're not using another box for your clothes um i understand yes i see so, what you mean yeah so you actually use the clothes to, to wrap. wrap things yeah. so then i haven't got to put my clothes into a separate box um so just things like mugs i would take a tea towel yeah Pop it in the middle of my tea towel. Oh, You're going to have a go with one of the glasses. One glass at a time or can I do two? I would do one glass at a time just to, go on then. One just glass. to be safe. And I roll. And I've got rather a lot more glasses than I have tea towels. That is true. I reckon if you roll it, pop a glass in the top and you could probably go again. Probably go again. And I just fold it up. It's like Blue Peter. <laughs> stuff it in the top and if you do it well enough it should sort of stay yeah well I've done two <laughs> <laughs> you've outpacked me <laughs> but I think it's quite a nice way of using your tea towels yeah um well clothes I mean it could be jumpers it could be let's yes. what are you gonna do with a sock I'm gonna do show you this one this is a great one um if you're anything like me I have more socks than I will ever need but they're quite handy for popping in your glass Mm. So your glass can't fall, can't break inwards, as it's for, it's got a little bit more, yeah, bit of bit of padding. Yeah, I get my nice, nicely branded T-shirt, and I just roll my glass yeah. in my T-shirt. Oh, other T-shirts will other will, other T-shirts will definitely do. Yeah, I'm guessing not many people are going to have any van T-shirts, and I just push that into the top. Yeah, neat, done. And it's done. You can probably stack it up. Yeah, I just think it's and a great just way to stack into those. Boxes. Yeah. I just think it's a great way of, yeah, utilising space. Yeah. You're then not going out and buying lots of bubble wrap, yes. lots of plastic. Well, I know sustainability in the environment is a, is a big theme at any van, isn't yes. it? So that, that, that rings true. Yeah, we do try and do as much as we can to advise people 
on, on how to be sustainable, obviously we do offset all of our miles because we do quite a lot of those. Yes, yes. Um, we try and never have any empty vans. We're really, really good with that. But then a lot of it is down to the person moving. If they decide to buy brand new boxes and loads of brand new packaging, yeah. we're not going to stop them as long as their no. stuff's protected. It's but one, fine. one would hope they would then pass those on to somebody else yes. who wanted second hand or third hand or yes. fourth hand boxes. On average, you can use a good quality box three or four times okay. before. How about a good quality loo roll? <laughs> this is a, this is a wild one. This is one I absolutely love. I didn't know this until I started at any van and it's become a bit of an in-joke with our team. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great way to have your wires. So obviously you're going to have lots of wires when you're moving. This yeah. is just a foam charger and I simply roll it round my hands. Yeah. Pinch it. Oh. And pop it in the loo roll. So it stays. So and then, and then yeah. you can just pop them into a box. It's actually quite handy just for storage at home. If you're like me and have collected yeah, my, wires from phones same. from 10 years ago. the first five minutes. <laughs> I probably did it on the train this morning. Get my ear, ear plugs out. Yes. Just five minutes. Oh, bloody thing. Constantly fighting things yeah. out of drawers. They're quite a nice way. Yeah, and it's, it's really simple. And again, your loo rolls can just go straight into the recycling when you're done with them. Um, but I do think this is quite a nice way just to store your wires at home. I mean, um, at any van, are you able to, I mean, these useful hints and tips and, and sort of packing hacks, can you let your customers know if they don't actually catch up yeah, with this? Yeah, on our um, blog, we've got loads and loads of different hacks from, you know, little bits like your loo rolls yeah. and your packing using your t-shirts through to how to move your fridge freezer. A lot of people don't really think about taking the food out of the freezer. Mm. Um, you need to defrost it. It has to be off for a certain amount of time before you unplug it, before you replug it in. Um, things like how to move sheds. There's a whole range from the tiniest things to the biggest things. And there are lots of- How to move a shed? Empty it first. And I'd say flat pack it. Right. Take it down. What about if you had a wardrobe? Could you leave it full of clothes? We say not to, predominantly because a lot of the wardrobes you see from high street brands have quite soft backs. Mm. So there's a lot of pressure of them in uh, moving around within yes. the removals van. Damage can happen to the backs of wardrobes, but also it means they're so heavy. If, yes. You know, yourself or removal men are carrying that down the yeah. stairs. Yeah. It's going to be pretty heavy. So we do say take things out. It will make things easier for you in the long run. I know it's a little bit of extra work of moving your bag, moving your clothes to a box and then back into the wardrobe, but it will definitely be a lot easier getting it down the stairs or through your front door. Look into the future, where do you see the removal business headed? What are you going to be up to? In an ideal world, it would be electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. At the moment, they don't quite go as far with a full load as we'd like them to if you move in from London up to Yorkshire, yes. there'd be a few stops along the way. Yes. But I think electric vehicles are 100% the way to go. Sure. And I'm sure as soon as they're available, any van will be jumping on that. It's a great way to be sustainable. You're covering a, the whole of the country. <laughs> and, and I don't know how many moves and deliveries and that kind of thing you're doing every year, but it's a vast, vast number. And yet you're able to do that at, at a competitive price point. How, how come? Is it yeah. simply volume? It's, there is a lot of volume in the removals world, so it's quite competitive for us to be able to go in and, you know, if we come a little bit lower, people people want to save money, don't they? But the way we keep our prices down is our technology. We've got a wonderful team of developers. The tech team are incredible, the product team, and we've had quite a lot of investment in that. And we do like to say we are a smarter way to move, not just because we can keep prices down, but our tech the way we plan journeys and make sure there aren't any empty vans coming back down the country yeah. is incredible. So tech is a massive, massive thing for us. Hayden, thank you so much. Really, really great, informative advice. Much appreciated. Brilliant. Thanks so much for chatting.